What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital and today we're doing the reverse flash effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now before we get into this video, 87% of you are still not subscribed. So if you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps us out. With that being said, let's get into this video. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve and you have your footage, you shot your scene, you have a clean plate, you bring it in, that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and highlight, right click, Fusion Comp, and we're going to head over to Fusion. All right, now that we're in Fusion, want to make sure which one your background is. So we're going to go ahead and rename this one F to rename. And then let's go ahead and name this background. Now we're gonna grab these, slide them over, make some room right here because we don't need these. So we're gonna leave them over on this side. Media selected. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna track our eyes. So we're gonna shift space tracker. Let's move it to a spot right there. Let's go ahead and drop this down to one. Bring this over and we're going to go ahead and track this one. We're going to, I'm going to do one eye at a time because we're going to have to do a little uh, manual keyframing here at the beginning. So what you want to do is you want to go to the first one, grab your keyframe, bring it over. Go forward one. You just want to manually track this. I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through this. Right now, I want to take this time to thank our Patreon members. Those members are Dustin Clark, Carl Robbins, Little Thrusty, Bobby Saravanera, Angela Kay, Danny Gowan, Vicki Ingblom, and Leslie Murphy. Thank you so much for your guys' support. Now, if you guys want to be a Patreon member too, click the link in the description below. You got three tiers to choose from for some awesome stuff. So go check it out. So let's get back into this video. All right, so now that that one's tracked, we're gonna go ahead and shift space, another tracker, and we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. Now you may not have to manually track depending on the scene that you shot, it might track better. Uh, mine went out of focus with the autofocus, so I have to manually track. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and track this one. Do the same thing we just did. And then I'm going to speed through this to manually track this one. All right, now that that's tracked, what you want to do is you want to select operations, match move, and make sure your apply mode is screen. You're going to do that to both trackers. All right, so now you're going to bring in your flare, which will be available in the description below for downloading along with the sound and the lightning. So we're gonna connect that to our first tracker. We're gonna shift space and add a transform node. And then we're gonna shift space and add a soft glow. So go ahead and position that on your eye, get the size down to fit. And then soft glow, we're going to put the threshold at 0.173. The glow size is going to stay at 10. And we're going to put the blend at 0.64 or 654. Now what you're going to do is you're going to highlight those, copy, and paste. And we're going to bring this over to the second tracker. And then just slide that over to your other eye. 
and then it should be tracking just like that. Now comes the fun part with your tracker two selected. We're gonna shift space and we're gonna add a box blur. With the box blur selected, we are going to grab a polygon and you're gonna mask around. It doesn't have to be right on it because you want to have a little bit of space. All right, now with your polygon selected, you want to keyframe your center, so your positioning, your X and Y. And what we're gonna do is we're going to just move through this and make sure that the mask stays on the subject. So we're just gonna move forward a couple frames, see how it shifts. So we're gonna grab it, pull it over. Shift a little bit. You just want to make sure that it stays around your subject. So I'm going to fast forward through this. All right, now that you have that tracked all the way through, we just want to go back over to the polygon and just soften these edges. That looks good about right there. All right, now we're going to bring in the vibration. So what you're going to do is select the box blur, uncheck gang, Drop vertical all the way down. Move the iterations all the way up to six. Right click on horizontal strength, modify width, and then shake. Now we're gonna go over to the modifier tab. Seed rate, one, two, three, zero. Smoothness 10, minimum 0.251, and maximum 0.171. Now you can play around with these. Um, I did mess around with them for a while, and this is what I found looks best. But you can mess around with them, change them to fit your, your scene for the shaking. And that gives you your vibration. Yeah. All right, so now we go back to the edit tab and we're gonna put the flash in there, the lightning. You just want to size it and fit your scene coming in. Add the sound effects, which are gonna be available for download. So the run-in effect and the vibration. And that's how you do the reverse flash effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe. If you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. We did just hit 500 subscribers, so we are having a giveaway. We're giving away two Filmcore digital shirts. To be eligible for that, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment on this video. We'll do the drawing next week. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep creating. Leave a comment in the link, this content.